for members of Halifax. En se présentant les mains vides à la conférence de Lima sur le changement climatique et entraînant l'un des pires bilans environnementaux de G20, les conservateurs sont de plus en plus discrédités et isolés, comme la ministre de l'Environnement d'ailleurs. 195 pays se réunissent pour négocier un cadre légal pour remplacer le protocole de Kyoto. Pourquoi les conservateurs s'y présentent en tant que saboteurs? Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Canada is playing a leadership role on the international stage. We have helped over 60 developing countries reduce emissions and adapt to climate change. We are also doing our part to by contributing to the climate gre uh, cl Green Climate Fund. We are also a founding member of a, and major financial contributor to the Climate and Clean Air Coalition. We are also addressing short-lived climate pollutants under Canada's chairmanship of the Arctic Council, and we will continue to protect our environment while keeping our economy strong. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Halifax. Well, maybe the Minister noticed while reading the headlines in question period the other day that our trading partners are moving on climate change and Canadians want action. Her department, Environment Canada, says that this government is going to miss its targets, that the oil and gas sector has the largest emissions, and it's going to continue to grow the fastest. Mr. Speaker, the world is watching. Will the minister announce, finally, oil and gas regulations? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as we said before, this is a continental issue that needs a North American solution. Our government will continue to work with the United States on reducing greenhouse gas emissions for the oil and gas sector. We feel it is best to align with the United States as we have with the transportation sector. We will continue to protect the environment and reduce greenhouse gas emissions in a way that maintains jobs, creation and economic growth for Canada. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, Mr. Speaker, just as the conference in Lima got underway, the minister made an 11th hour funding announcement for green climate finance. But the problem is the money wasn't in the budget or the oh. estimates. And key details like where is the money coming from? How will it be spent? How will it be paid out? And over how long a period of time? Well, they're left out. Can the minister confirm that this is new money and that it will be paid out this year? Mr. Speaker, our government wants to reach a fair agreement in Paris that includes all emitters and all economies. It's important that an agreement be durable, flexible and effective. And, but meanwhile, Canada will continue to take concrete actions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions while keeping our economy strong. As Canada emits less than 2 percent of the greenhouse gas emissions globally, Canada's per capita emissions are now at their lowest level since we started recording in 1990. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And the Honourable Member for Halifax. Mr. Speaker, time and time again we come to this House and the Minister, she trumpets all these Liberal failures on climate change like it's a free pass for her to do nothing. But it's been eight years. Yeah. It's time that the Conservatives quit finger-pointing and actually started doing their job. Climate change is a clear and dire threat to Canadians and the negotiations in Lima urgently need leadership and ambition. So, is this government finally going to take climate change seriously, and will they commit to a binding global agreement? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. M Mr. Speaker, we are, uh, we have always said that um, for an international agreement, uh, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, all major economies and major emitters must do their part. So with the United States and China accounting for 49, uh, 39 percent of greenhouse gas emissions, we are very encouraged by the promises they have made to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as Canada emits less than 2 percent. We will continue to play our part by reducing emissions at home and work with our partners, global partners across the globe, to establish an international agreement that includes all economies and all emitters. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.